forward to the cloud. It is recording now. And I'm sharing my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. Welcome to the Advocacy and Outreach Special Interest Group. It's Friday. No, it's not. It's February. <laughs> February 24th, 2022. The agenda topics for today include um, review the outreach programs webpage, uh, remove Jenkins is the way um, from the Jumbotron. Yesterday, we'll go over yesterday's Jenkins online meetup in GSOC, uh, GSOC Next Deliverables, CDCon, She Code Africa, and March Jenkins online meetup. Are there so any things that we could we put an additional topic on uh, after remove Jenkins is the way on Jumbotron? Could we also put one uh, Jenkins is the way um, on the Jenkins is the way site URL, etc., or site hosting and URL? Got it. Got it. Thanks. All right. All right. So, um, Jean-Marc, this one, this item is yours. Do we have status on this one or what are you planning? No, I, I didn't work on it. So we discussed it. I had uh, the information last time, but I didn't work on it. Okay. So I'll just so, leave it on there for, for next so, time. Then. Yes, because uh, either we review the pull request together uh, okay. the next meeting. Okay. Or, but this needs to be done. For God and John Mark, it's just a pull request. So you've submitted the change as a pull request to Jenkins.io. Yes, this is the way oh, we do. But but uh, we can look together uh, at the preview, which is an, uh, a way to review it together here. I, I just proposing, but uh, the updates will be quite simple. Great. So you can put their. Uh, I'll update document. the meeting minutes yeah. after yeah. after the meeting. Taking notes here. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So remove Jenkins is the way on the jumbotron. I think we can remove it um, because we the program isn't. Uh, we're, we're not doing anything with it we're not writing stories anymore so it might be worthwhile to i think remove this and then uh, when we do get accepted for gsoc or you know if you think that we should put the gsoc program on here now we can do that yeah actually i think there are two things we ought to put in there I'll put on there now mm -hmm. is cdcon 2022 and gsoc both would go on here, and this is a great excuse to take take Jenkins is the way off for the moment. Yeah. Okay. And it, it, and who can do that, Mark? Uh, John Mark or I can do it. I'm okay. confident, John Mark. You willing to pair with me tomorrow on it? Yes. Yes, I'm interested to to learn. Yeah, jumbotron learn. jumbotron edits are a good a good thing to explore together. This is. It's a it's a little different than the the relatively straightforward. How do you do the a doc changes? Okay, you ping me for the the pairing. I will. Yes. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Um. All right. So Jenkins is the way site hosting and URL. Yeah. So here, um, just I we had a conversation with Gavin Mogan, and well, we had Gavin that was kind enough and willing to take the WordPress site that is Jenkins is the way dot Jenkins or Jenkins is the way dot IO and has converted it to be a site that's can be managed as code from a GitHub repository. And that's really nice. However, we also need to change. We don't want to lose the content that's on Jenkins is the way dot IO. And, and so his initial thing that he did at, at my request was, what would it take to put it inside www.jenkins.io? And so he did that, but it's large. It roughly doubles the size of the Git repository and it will be relatively low change volume. So for me, it was like, oh, maybe that doesn't make sense to put it right inside www.jenkins.io. So the counter proposal was, what if we create a site at the top level 
Jenkins is the way dot Jenkins dot IO and put, put the content there. Gavin said, Hey, if we do that, we could host that top level thing at Netlify or Damien suggested ultimately GitHub pages. So we don't even have to do the infrastructure or the bandwidth to host the page. And it still is inside the Jenkins.io domain. So for me, it was like, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. I'm working with infrastructure. I'll make a proposal to the infra team to, to discuss this, to find a way to do it. But I think Gavin was willing to put it on a separate location and a separate GitHub repository. And then when we have new user stories, we can put them there. We'll just put them there with pull requests instead of doing the, the technique we've used in the past of taking things from a Google form, people will have to submit a pull request to share their story. So Alyssa, would you be okay with that? And John Mark, does that sound reasonable to you? Yeah, for me, I'm go. Yeah. Okay, great. So, so I'll continue with that. And if we just make note that Hey, the idea is we'll work with the infra team and get their agreement that it's okay that we do it that way and coordinate with Gavin. How do we get the separate repository? Um, how do we publish it? We'll probably then want a blog post that announces that, hey, it's now here mm -hmm. and highlight this is if you'd like to submit more stories, this is how you do it. Uh, awesome. we're, we're not any longer, I suspect, able to send swag anymore. So, so given that, they can submit their story though and still have their story visible on the site. Yeah. And Mark, I mean, um, we can do the swag if, if oh, okay. I mean, I think that was kind of like the encouragement. So, right. so I, I want to keep that going if, if we can, but we probably won't get it at the, the volume that we've have had in the past. Certainly we're because so. we don't have an active organization that's promoting it and seeking people. Right. So that yeah. we expect the number of arriving stories to decrease. Yeah. 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 And I'm, I'm totally okay. We get, you know, a story once in a while just to keep our, um, our, our database up to date. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for your work on that. Thanks. Okay, so um, next item is the Jenkins online meetup that we had yesterday for uh, GSOC. Um, the recording is there, the slides are there. They, I posted them on the meetup page as well as on the GSOC Gitter site as well. Um, Mark, you mentioned that we, was it this time that we had more participants and on the, the, the we, it wasn't it wasn't more participants we had far more questions than i remember previously i okay. think we had an active participant group that we had running about 20 participants and i think in past presentations we've had as many as 50 so we weren't as ma as many in total count participants but that was more questions than i remember getting in past webinars about gsoc so uh, again that's not that's not captured data as much as just my recollection I felt like it went very well. Thanks very much to both of you for doing it. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it was it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was good. I think we covered I think we covered all of our bases pretty much and I mean if they didn't get get what they need here, there's always office hours recordings, there's you know, there's there's just lots of discussions going on. So well, I think it's good. Yeah. What a great story about the worldwide present, present, presenter community that we had there. Let's see. So we had Chris Stern from Hong Kong, John Mark from Belgium, Alyssa from California, Kristen from North Carolina. So, so yeah. we, had, we had a great mix. Yeah, yeah. well done. Awesome. All right, so moving on to the next item, so, which is GSOC Next Deliverables. I listed down here some of the things that is for, at least this is for me to keep my eyes and ears open on. And so the mentoring organization applications submitted prior to deadline. So we've completed that. Um, March 7, list of accepted mentoring organizations published. So that's coming up soon. March 7 to April 3rd, Potential GSOC contributors discuss application ideas with the mentoring organizations. So, Mark, in the past, has this been like a, a busy period so that Jean-Marc and I can really 
keep our eyes open on Gitter for? Yes, yeah. So, so those those discussions we that's that's the that is sort of the hot time. Yes, I see. And and that's where that's also a place where it's crucial that we, if we have additional mentors that we want to recruit, we need them recruited so that we can get get have them as part of the evaluation of the applica- of the proposals mm-hmm. when the proposals are submitted to Google. Right. Uh, Mark, related to that, uh, there was a discussion a point uh, during my office hour. Uh, first question was, uh, when will the, 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 the approval of projects, you know, for having them on the top, uh, top level uh, status? I don't remember the exact name of the status. So is there a deadline where uh, we're going to say, okay, these are the accepted mm-hmm. projects? Well, I think it's an ongoing one. It is ongoing, right? That's, that's certainly there will be, there's a point where a project idea moving from in dis- under discussion to draft mm-hmm. may not be interesting to, to most, of the, most of the candidates, right? Or, or from draft to accepted it's it's not but that that just continues right we can we can move those anytime those ideas we, i think we highlighted okay. really well to them in the online meetup yesterday that they are welcome to do any idea they would like right okay. these are just ideas that we've vetted that we think are interesting that they might consider right okay so i'll be uh, more uh, active in, in promoting so so there's because what I want to avoid is that people have a false message and saying but this this is interesting but as it's still under discussion I don't dare uh, present oh it, right? okay and so so if that if that's the case if you're worried that way then we certainly can actively work to to speed things into accepted right, right. I think I think there's no reason we cannot Chris Stern just submitted a, a pull request today with a, an idea that had been not Wait. even listed as under discussion. It was just mentioned in community.jenkins.io and he submitted, a, Chris has submitted a pull request. That yeah, this is, this is a result of the office hour we had. Great, okay. Right. So uh, the, the one with a screenshot update. Uh, yeah, mechanism. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, no, that that was the other thing I wanted to, to report here. That there are still some ideas coming, and we want to speed the the, the process so that these new ideas come with a, a correct uh, a status, and they great get the necessary attention. Um, April fourth to the nineteenth is the contributor application period, right. and then. Um, Mark, this one is a question that I had. So um, May 12, GSOC contributor slot requests due from org admins. So is this something, so this is uh, what happens in the past as well? It, I thought that they would, GSOC or Google gives us the amount of uh, slots, but it looks like that we're requesting for slots. Yeah, here. see. See, I suspect the March 7th announcement is we've been selected as a mentoring organization. Mm -hmm. And then between March 7 and May 12, we are assembling our mentor teams to assure that we think we have the right number of mentors to support this many slots. And then May 12, we submit, we have mentor teams ready to support this many slots. Give us this many slots, Google. And Google may say, you ask for six, we'll give you a three. I see. But but I think that's what happens is they 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 choose us as an organization based on do we look like a an organization that's well suited to Google Summer of Code, mm-hmm. and then they decide how many slots do they allocate to each organization after allowing time for those organizations to better assemble mentor teams, project ideas, potential candidates, etc. Okay. Uh, Mark, uh, I need to reread the, the documentation details. Uh, we as uh, organization don't have to vet the uh, eligibility of the, the candidates. This is done by Google, right? That's my understanding is Google, uh, 
Google's Google's task is to worry about eligibility. We don't have to check their whatever requirements Google places. You know, we don't have to confirm that they're greater than 18, they're 18 years old or greater. As an example, okay. there's there's a very precise example. If a 17-year-old applies, it's not our problem. I think that's Google's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. We're not checking IDs. Exactly. Well, and 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 it could have been that they'd say no, that you have to check, check those validate those things but practically speaking i i've never seen anyone mention anything about us checking about eligibility in any of the times i was involved the 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 thing that is itching me is more uh the the new rules say that non-students uh, can apply as long as uh, they don't have experience uh, in open source I have no clue how you demonstrate that. What is the evidence for that? Right, right. The, the, the absence of proof is a really hard proof. Yeah, I, I agree. And, and I suspect they're, they're asking just on, on good faith answers. Please right. don't okay. apply if you're already deeply involved in open source. Right. So it's, I, I hear the message that at this stage, it's not our business. Yeah. And, and. That. I can think of some candidates, right? Diraj Joda, for instance, who's mm -hmm. been very active in the docs office hours um, and has been a great contributor to Jenkins, may say, I want to be involved and I want to submit a proposal. And yeah. in terms of code submissions, I would say he is not open source experienced. In terms of doc submissions, he's deeply experienced. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, because it, well, he he's interested to do some some coding, I believe, from from right. his question. Yep. He was he was on the uh, the office hour call. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to mention a specific person, but that's a, for me is a good example that yeah. there are we, there are people we know who who are involved in open source, but I would say are not deeply experienced yet. Yeah, but this is where the definition is, and where do they put the cursor on? I prefer that Google decides that. Exactly. Yep. Um, another item that I have on that I, I want to mention here is uh, which I didn't write down, but I was thinking I think it would be worthwhile for us to maybe do some kind of swag for GSOC, at least for the mentors. I think. For at least for us, I find it hard to recruit mentors. Mm -hmm. And for those who mentor, that means it means, I mean, for me, it means a lot to me because, you know, they're giving back to the community. Um, they're using up their personal time for this. So I think some kind of swag that says, hey, I was a Jenkins or Jenkins GSOC mentor. Um, mm -hmm. And hopefully that they will wear it proudly. But I, I like that. Yeah. If we can, yeah. if we, if now that, that will likely require, require that we ask for some, well, yeah, we got to find Budget. somebody to fund that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Good, good. But the, the suggestion is good. No, the, mm -hmm. no, awesome. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next. And, and uh, well, sorry to. Oh, sorry. At a certain point, uh, we may uh, write a blog post just to say where we're standing. Uh, and, and now that we're starting the actual preparation of the submission, I think it's a good moment also to, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to start that. I okay. Agree. All right. Well, a good point, sorry, the good point is when uh, Jenkins is accepted as... Uh, well, and, as and that might be a sweet time to announce, be a mentor, get a t-shirt. Mm. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, we, we have Just to. If, you're, if you're willing to provide a proposed t-shirt design, that might be a great incentive to say, you know what, anyone who mentors Jenkins GSOC will send you this t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay no, no, we need somebody to design the t-shirt. I'm the wrong, yeah, I, I'm not a t-shirt designer and it's embarrassing the kind of stuff I do in design. Uh, I'll take a lead on that, Mark. All right. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And then uh, Jean-Marc for the blog, uh, let's you and I sync up and then I'll see what see I can do to help them. See how we can them. do. Yeah. yeah. We, we start to have a good, uh, a good way to cooperate in these kind of adventures. Yes, adventure it is. <laughs> okay. Um, CDCon 
<clears throat> so Mark, you made the submission, the CFP submission. You made it on time. Oh, two. Good. You made two. I submitted two. Yeah. And oh, I, I hope that at least one of the two is accepted. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll touch base with CDF. Great. Um, follow up with them. And, and I am planning to be in Austin and we'll, yeah. we are going to do an, uh, I, I am still committed. We're going to do a contributor summit there of an in-person contributor summit. Mm -hmm. We have a number of, of friends of Jenkins and contributors who live in Austin. And okay. we'll ask them, hey, please come join us. Great. Anything else to add there, Mark? That's it. Okay. Uh, we, well, I'm, I'm sorry. We need to add somewhere in the planner that we start organizing the second item well in advance that we don't lose track that at a certain moment we need to work on the contributor summit oh yes right yeah we need a draft agenda start the conversations exactly absolutely yeah did we start that on time yeah beginning of june is the event yeah okay um she code africa so there, I need to get the project ideas submitted through their form. Uh, Zinab and I will probably talk here in about 90 minutes, actually, today about the topic. And uh, it feels like the ideas are good enough. I've had several people who have expressed interest in being mentors. Angelique Jard, for instance, again, is willing to be a mentor. She's in a perfect location, time zone wise, being in Europe like she is. So We've got we've got some good candidates as mentors, and I think we'll go ahead with submitting the project ideas. I'll just make my best guess on which ones I think will be most successful. We're going to try something different this year. I'm feeling like trying something different this year in that I'm going to propose one of the one of the mentor one of the mentored people would be a project manager and work under my mentorship to to manage the project oh, and i like that it it yeah. doesn't it's not coding but mm -hmm. i think it's a useful skill Absolutely. and if they want to put someone there that would be great to have somebody who can assist with that kind of thing i was thinking you know what one of the ways that we were talking earlier about some of the some of the legwork we do in open source projects like some of the, the sort of nuts and bolts work, things like uploading videos to this location or making postings. Those are things that these contributors could do as well, right? They could, they could help us with those kind of things. It's community building. It's not coding, but it is community building. So, yep. so those kinds of things are not out of bounds for She Code Africa mm -hmm. contribute on. And so I'll, I'll bring that to the project idea and we'll, we'll talk from there. I like it. And I, I think being a project manager, you can project manage pretty much anything, right? That will well, take you, carry you a long way. Well, and and there are there are unique attributes about open source projects that are more complicated than many other projects confront. The let's yes. see, everybody's a volunteer, so you don't have leverage of command and control in any form. Mm -hmm. And Everybody's remote, so you don't have the, the benefit of being physically in the same location. And those complications are good skills to develop. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. Cat herding talent is required. Yes, exactly. Cat herding. That's right. Okay. Anything else on this, Mark? No, nothing else. Okay, great. So, we are approaching March, so we have two Jenkins Online Meetup that is on the radar. That's me. I'll get those. <laughs> I'll get those proposed. Sorry, yes, I still have the action item. Okay. And I've one of my talks proposed for CDCon needs those two, oh. and therefore there's motivation. There's intense motivation for me to get those two rolling. I see. Okay. Well, let us know if we can help in any ways here. All right. I will. Okay. So that's all I have on the agenda. Is there anything else that you guys want to add? Nothing okay. from me. No. Thanks. Okay. No. All right. Thank you. Let me stop the recording. I will stop sharing. Stop the recording.